Knowledge is power. Let me tell you why it's so important to know about your health. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts and I'm a doctor of dental surgery and this channel is all about health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy. All I want to do is help you optimize your own health benefits. All right. So today we're talking about how knowledge is power, right? And welcome back. We're talking about something incredibly empowering, okay? Health knowledge. Understanding your health can be a game changer. And here I'm going to show you how, all right? So health knowledge matters, okay? Empowerment through knowledge. So knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. When you understand how your body works, you can make better decisions that lead to a healthier, happier life. You can improve your decision making. Knowing the facts helps you make informed cho choices about diet, exercise, and lifestyle, which is what I'm all about, diet, exercise, lifestyle. And I actually started doing this because I found that I'd be wore out serving the public all day, 20 some odd people that I got to lay hands on, move and check and see and all that stuff. And I was kind of falling apart. So I had to try to figure out a way to make myself more healthy so that I could actually be helpful for people. So this, this knowledge or this understanding that I'm sharing with you is just basically from my own personal experience. And I'm just sharing with you. If you like it, great. If you love it, even better. Um, and if I can give you something that you can work with, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm in there, all right? So let's avoid some common health myths and misconceptions, all right? So referring to scientific studies showing that informed individuals have better health outcomes, right? So we're talking about prevention over curing something. So understanding your health helps you take preventative measure, measures, right? So early detection and intervention of potential health issues. I always refer to my, I, I wish she, she could be my friend, Rhonda Patrick. Did you know I was gonna say Rhonda Patrick? Because she, she's my internet friend in my mind. She's my internet friend because she is a healthy looking, healthy, conscientious person, PhD doctor that her studies and her interviews with those people that have written the books on health and science benefits, they are just juicy, full of knowledge, full of things that you could just take with you and use. So I refer to Dr. Rhonda Patrick a lot because I feel as though her research has proven to me that these are things that work and these are things that don't work. So anyway, her insights on the importance of preventative health measures, okay? So key areas of health knowledge would be nutrition. So that's the basics of micronutrients and macronutrients and the importance of a balanced diet and how to achieve it. That balanced diet part is where I came in with the blood type thought or conversation with the notion or the premise that everybody's different, uh, there's different types of blood types, and because of those different blood types, I feel like people just need to at least know what type of blood type you are, and from there, you can start your journey to this is what it says I should eat, this is what I do, or maybe I could change this, or it says don't eat this, maybe that's what I'll do, because you can try to find out, dial in what's going on with you if you feel bloated, if you feel inflammation. If you have inflammation, that doesn't seem to be going away, all right? So how different foods affect your body and mind is important to know. Exercise, which is different types of exercise and their benefits how to create a balanced workout routine, the routine of exercise in mental health, right? And mental health in and of itself, understanding mental health and its impact on your overall well-being. There's techniques for managing stress, anxiety, and depression. The importance of sleep and relaxation. And in terms of medical literacy, understanding medical terms and procedures. 
how to read and understand scientific studies and the importance of regular health checkups and screenings, all right? Good. There's an impact of health knowledge on daily life. So what do you do? What are your healthy habits? Know how knowledge translates into everyday habits. The compounding effect of small, consistent actions over time is gonna give you some incredible results. Little things, little things. Getting seven to eight hours of sleep, uh, grounding yourself by putting your feet in, your, your naked bare feet in grass, getting sunlight in your eyes at a particular hour or hours in the morning. These are little tiny things that can have great, great benefits for you doing it over time, right? So empowering others. So sharing health knowledge with friends and family, which is what I'm doing with you guys, my friends and family, right? Creating a supportive uh, environment for healthy living. And the ripple effect is how your knowledge can impact your community, right? So there are sources of reliable health information, research and experts. Follow credible sources and experts like my, my favorite, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, but there's so many others. There are so many others. I also like Dr. Andrew Huberman, um, and I can't think of any, any names right now off the top of my head, but those are PhD doctors that do the research, are looking at raw data and giving us, well, this is what we found. And it's really an unbiased, uh, it seems as though it's an unbiased um, review that they're giving. They're just like here, all right? So using peer-reviewed journals and reputable health websites, all right? So how do you critically evaluate health information online, right? So that's continual learning. Stay updated with the latest health research and trends. Now, you're going to have to make sure that you're looking at a credible resource, the American Cancer Society is, or would call themselves a resource, but they get their funding from food companies, and drug companies, and it's in their best interest to make sure that those food companies and drug companies get a small little advertisement, or they get a little information in there. So if you're looking at something like the American Cancer Society head, website, and they say something like, do chemotherapy and, and, radi and you know, uh, radiation, right? Those are treatments for cancer. They are. They are. Um, but there are other ones, and there's other things that you consider, you can consider, and that's why we're having this conversation, because your knowledge could, in some cases, if you have cancer, reverse your cancer, your knowledge. And that's in what you do, what you don't do. I haven't seen it myself. These are just beliefs, beliefs that I would like to think happen. Uh, I would love to find a cancer survivor that was not on chemo, was not on radiation. I'd love to find those people and interview them. People that, are, that just said, I'm not going to do what I was doing and then things change for them for the better. That those are the people that I'm looking for. As a matter of fact, if that's your story, would you please share it in the comments below and let's try to make arrangements to have a conversation on camera about your journey and how you helped yourself so that we can try to help other people, all right? So the importance of lifelong learning in maintaining health, resources for ongoing education, podcasts, books, courses, things that you can take time for yourself to try to figure out what's going on there in the world, right? So here's some practical tips for gaining health knowledge, right? So start with the basics. Focus on understanding the fundamentals of nutrition, exercise, and mental health. Build a strong foundation before diving into complex top topics. Use technology, apps and tools that can help you track your health and learn more about it. And then there are even online courses and webinars on various health topics. Now, I say use the God in you to feel what resonates with you 
and then take action on those good feelings of resonation. Go with that. So if you hear something that doesn't resonate with you, that's okay, leave it alone, except you always want to stay open-minded and you do want to listen to your inner voice that says, nah, we, we know that you don't like this, but you need to hear this. Listen to your inner voice, all right? And, and, and give yourself a chance to be more open-minded about the information that you need to find for yourself, all right? Ask questions and seek out answers. Don't be afraid to dig deep into topics that interest you, all right? Guys, guys, we're done, we're good, all right? So, health knowledge is empowering and can significantly improve your life. Understanding nutrition, exercise, mental health, and medical literacy is crucial for you on your journey. Reliable sources are gonna be what you're gonna need in order to stay informed. Keep learning, okay? So start your journey today and get your education today. I have a health benefits guide in the description below. Please take that, it's free. It's just about food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, and mindfulness behavior. And um, it's, it's a little bit of a read, but we put it together for you, for you to try to optimize your health and your wellness, all right? And uh, share what you learn uh, about health with others and try to get their opinions and, and share your opinion. But guys, your health is your wealth. It's your number one thing that you've got. There are billionaires out there, and let me tell you something, they can think about all types of stuff, but if they were sick, they're only thinking about one thing, and that's their health. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please share this with a friend or friends or family, people that you love, to give them what they might need. When we have multiple, multiple videos on food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, and mindfulness behavior, if you're lacking or having any questions in those areas, you could try to use us as a resource as well, all right? Thanks so much for listening, okay? We're gonna talk about a couple of other things a little bit later.